negative stranded single stranded circular dna inside those head so here's how uh, the assembly of mature virus or video occurs so here it is uh, the procapsid the what what we why we call it a procapsid because it's the early capsid and in this early capsid it's a kind of unmodified we are having b proteins d proteins attached there but now what we require we need require several rounds of arrangement so and we require the dissociation of d proteins so the arrangement of several rounds occur only after the DNA is inserted. Now I remind you, procapsids are made and stayed as it is, but until and unless DNA is inserted inside the procapsid, it does not confirm change its conformation to the capsid structure or mature structure. Once, uh, once uh, the DNA is inserted uh, inside this uh, procapsid, it will be modified into a matured capsid, and this matured capsid it will be having G protein attached as a spike coming out H proteins will be there to organize and J proteins will be added it's very very important to add J proteins to to make the DNA structure compact in this case and then what we produce we produce a mature assembled phage then we use this assembled phage and they, they are ready to infect another host cell in this case okay so that's how the whole thing works so you can see here the G proteins and F proteins are coming and they produce a 12 S unit of F and G proteins, then they add the H protein, and after that, they produce a pro head. And then, once after the insertion of DNA is completed, then they'll produce a mature phage, right? So, so to produce a mature phage from a procapsid, to produce a mature capsid from a procapsid, it requires the entry of the DNA or genomic material inside, okay?